Hey guys, Humanoid Geno here. <sighs> Try that again. Hey guys, Humanoid Geno 889 or the Mighty Chrome here. Today I'm going to be going over um, what I was taught for handling a pistol. Um, today, today, and also practice and also practicing reloads. Um, this magazine down here um, only has one only has one round in it. That's it. Well, BB, I should say. Well, and this is fully gassed up. And these ones have... These ones ha are fully loaded with BBs. Hey, I'm just recording a video here. Have a nice day. Sorry, neighbor came by with her dog. Uh, which is why my dogs are nuts. Um, the reason why is because I will be shooting this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to properly draw. And well, I should probably get into frame here. I'm going to show you how to properly draw. I'm going to load this magazine in. I'm not going to do it yet. Chamber the only round. File. And then when the slide locks back, I'm going to drop the mag put in another one, drop the slide, and file again. And when I sh file again, when I file again, it's going to whack back and chamber another round from this magazine. But I'm not going to keep shooting this magazine. I'm going to take it back out and put this one back in because this one is fully gassed. It's, that's how, um, from what I was taught, that's a, it's a really good way on how to set yourself up to train better and practice more with empty or emergency reloads um so emo so empty so empty reloads are professionally professionally known as emergency reloads where your bolts or slide your bolt catch or slide catch locks back and you have to drop and you have to quickly put it in a new one deliberate reloads otherwise known as tactical is when you take a magazine out and then you take another mag out like this. That is a that's a uh, gonna make sure. I mean, I know none of them are chambered, but we're still gonna make sure. There we go. That is also known as a deliberate reload. Um. So what? I, all right. So this is how I was taught to properly draw by my dad, by Jerry from from um and, and from by my dad. Jerry from um, the Special Projects community in the 2A community, aka the Second Amendment community, and 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 from B Dub, um, I forget his real name because we all just call him B Dub. Um, I, he was from I believe he was also from the from the uh, I believe he was also from the um, Special Projects community, and then there and also and also from. And also Lewis from uh, Triple Feed. Triple Feed, is, uh, Triple Feed is the are the guys that recorded everything. They're the ones that they're the ones that recorded everything at Las Vegas for me and uploaded it to their YouTube channel and tagged me in it. Um, go follow them on Instagram or wherever you can find them. Really, I think they have a I think they have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. I think they have pretty much everything. I think, but. Yeah, I was all taught by the same thing by the, by different people. So what you do not, I'm gonna go over what you do not want to do first. You don't want to. You don't want to lift. You don't want to scoop the gun because if you scoop and you shoot downhill, you're gonna miss. And you also don't want to drop. You also don't want to scoop downwards because one. That because one you're gonna miss, and two it's it's not as fast. It's just it's more movement. It's more weight to get on target. Not only that, when you go like this, when you draw like this, you're not able to shoot when you need to shoot. Like say, and same thing with here. If you're up here, you can't shoot until you're on target. But if you absolutely have to. You draw, this is how I was taught to draw properly. You pull up and out, then push out. 
try that again. You you pull up, tilt the barrel forward, and if I need to, I can I can shoot right now. If I absolutely have to, I can go bang, 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 bang. If I need to. But here, you can't. You go bang, 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 bang. And you're you're wasting rounds at that point. Same thing with this. Bang, 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 bang. Only that last round is gonna hit. Now, I am not a prof now disclaimer, I should probably should have mentioned this earlier. I am not a professional trainer. I'm not. I'm simply showing what you what I have been taught. If you so and and with that being said, if you guys if I do something wrong, if I do something wrong and you guys do the same thing that I did that I did wrong, you cannot blame me because I said I am not a professional trainer. I am not le I am legally covered, I think, to the point where I don't won't get in trouble. So what I was taught was to pull up, angle the barrel forward, and push out. You can also do it in two motions. So one, two, well quickly, one, two. Notice how much faster that is than than that. Note, it's not, it might not be much faster, but it does make a difference. Alright, now, you always want to keep the barrel pointed in a safe direction. Um, I have a target downrange um, that I always shoot at every video. It's just a wood target with Sharpie on it that I screwed to my fence. I always shoot in that direction because, yes, I am in a town. Yes, technically it's... It, it may or may not be illegal to shoot gas-powered airsoft um, in town or, or outside of a proper range. Yes, I get that. But none of my neighbors are going to report that and none of my neighbors and no one really cares because hell, even the cops came by. I believe one of the cops came by and came to the fence. He said, hey, what you doing? Oh, I'm just shooting my airsoft. It's all just practicing. He's like, what you practicing for? To be ready if I ever need to be ready. He's, he's like, fair enough. Um, you are shooting in a safe direction, right? And yes, I am shooting in a safe direction. Alright, so. Over that way is not a safe direction. But, from there, all the way to that target, and to, and to that barn of ours, that is a safe direction. Because, not only do the BBs not travel that all... Yeah, you can arc them... Yeah, you can arc them way over there and hit the house. But if I'm shooting straight at the fence, it's not going to hit any of the houses. It's only going to hit the houses if I want it to or if I try to hit the houses. So there was no need to panic there. I should probably angle the camera a little bit this way. There we go. There we go. Um, so, so I will show you where I'm pointing. Everywhere from here, all the way to there, and even there, even there, even, and from here to here. That is a safe direction for me to shoot because no one is ever back there. If so, and if that neighbor right, if that neighbor, the neighbor right there, if that neighbor, the one that I had to tip my finger, if he's mowing lawn back here, I don't shoot. I wait for him to finish, then I come out, because I don't want to hurt anybody. Alright, now, on to the shooting part. I'm going to load up a mag, chamber the round. There is, there is the BB, you guys can see, yep, you guys can see that, I think. Oh, come on. There you go, that is chamber, and it's hot. This gun is now hot. Come up, come up, angle it forward and go out, file, lock it back, and then I'm going to take the mag out because, because now there is another BB in the chamber. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but there is a BB in that chamber. 
Now from what I've heard, it's not good to dry fire airsoft, which is why I'm not dry firing it. So I'm gonna do that faster now. This is loaded. All right. Um. Now I need to adjust the hop up. So give me a second. Yes, that little dial right there is how you adjust the hop up on this also. Alright, it's on target. Here we go. I missed. Hit it. Nailed it. Now, when you're act when you're actively now I'm getting into a bad habit of just picking it up like this. You're not supposed to pick it up like that. Because because like say I have a magazine. Like say Alright, so I shoot one guy if I need to. Reload. Come on. There we go. Now if I just go like this. I leave myself open to be shot because I'm not paying attention. So instead, what you want to do is visually or physically, like with your foot, you want to physically step on the mag or look at it, like a quick glance, keep the gun on target, and then hold stop. That is what I was taught. Make sure this is not the right mag. There we go. Make sure she's loaded. Yep, she's loaded. Going hot. Nailed it. Um, this one has this one has one BB left as well. So I'm gonna do a double reload. Or but that's what I call it. Granted, you're never gonna do this because. If you have a magazine that only has one round, you're not going to put it in its active slot. You're going to want to refill it with an actual, you're going to want to put it in a, you're going to want to put it into a slot that's further back or that can't be as easily reloaded. Yeah, you want to keep easy access, but you don't want to keep the easiest access magazine up where you normally grab. So, here we go. Oh, I missed the last one. There we go. I'm now going to load up one mag. Thank God for speed loaders. Now, when it comes to airsoft speed loaders, it is so, so much faster than trying to load it by hand. Trust me. Oh, come on. Will you even out? The problems with these types of magazines is that there tends to be a gap like that, and I'm trying to fix it. There we go, fix it. So, now I will hopefully have my mom come out and shoot sometime. Um, and with her permission, I will record it. Um, if she doesn't want me to record it, I'll let you guys know. But, ooh, you could whop away. I'm gonna be one round short because it won't cooperate. Hold on. Now, in an actual airsoft wall, this is fine. You simply just want to, you just simply want to crank it back, click, 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 and put it in. You don't want to spend time fixing the mag, you know. That one's loaded. That one's not loaded. I'm gonna keep that one unloaded. I'm now going to gas up some the magazines a little bit. Not much, it's like five seconds each or so. 
or six. I'm gonna do five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I don't get why it does that, I really don't. One, two, three, four, five. Is there a round in here? Yes, there is. I'm gonna put in the empty mag. Put this mag up here. Well, back here, I mean. I'm actually gonna put this mag in front because it has less rounds. But then again, not, it only has two less rounds, so it doesn't matter. Here we go. Yeah, that sucked. Now, this is the closest thing that I have to a safety other than my trigger finger. If this is back like that. Oh, give me a second. If that's, if that's, if that metal bit, that silver piece is back like that, I can't pull the trigger. My opinion, it is these stupidest position for a safety I mean technically on a wheel Glock there is no true safety yes there are three or sometimes four different safety features but it's not a traditional safety that you can f that you can flick on and on and off or on and off because yeah um here we go in a quick draw miss Nailed it. Again. Keep forgetting to do this. Now, in real life, you're not going to pick up the mag and put it right in the gun. Like I just did, but it's, this is just practice. Caught me again. There we go. a better wheel than that. Here we go. Draw. Nailed it. Now I got two empty magazines. But they're still gas. Notice how I was able to shoot when I needed to. Now that that's now that the now that the round is loaded. So if I need to, I'm actually gonna load in this mag. If I need to, I can just go bang, 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 bang. If I absolutely have to, but he's you're only gonna do it if he's like what five feet in front of you, so and that's all you're gonna do. Now this is, now if, now if I were to conceal carry, and if someone were to come at me, this is what I would be like. Um, I'm gonna angle the camera that way a little bit. There we go. This is what I would do. If he's coming at me with like, say, a knife, I hope you guys can see me, I'd be like, so back off, back off, I don't, you don't wanna, don't want to hesitate. That's Chamber New Round. I mean, I know Chamber New Round, but. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's Chamber Two of them. That's what you 
don't want to hesitate. You want to verbally say, from what I from what I know, you want to say, back off, back off, dog, and fire. Now, you're not just gonna fire twice. If he's still coming, you want to keep firing until he's down. Somebody can slide the box back. Now I got no more ammo. And that is what I was taught. Now I'm going to angle the camera back this way. Too much. There we go. That is what that is what I was taught how to how to properly draw. And that is what I would that and what I that is what I would do. I would verbally say back off, back off, draw and file. That is what I would do. Now from what I know, if you just pull the pistol and file, I kind of did that, that's bad. If I were just to draw the pistol and file without without verbally warning him, I could get into legal, really bad legal issues. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys a little treat real quick, give me a second. Now. I'm going to fully load every one of my magazines and I'm just going to let it rip because it's fun. I need to fully load as much as I can if it freaking sees. It's double stacked properly, god damn it. Of course it didn't double stack properly. Put that one now. We're going to have to gas these up again because at least one of them is getting low on gas. In an actual air cycle, you're just going to want to pull it back and just... And be done. You're not going to want to worry about it being perfect. You never will. Because in the heat of the battle, most of the time, you're not going to think straight in the heat of the battle. I mean, yeah, and that's why, and that is exactly why they train people the way they do. You want it to be second nature. If you if you hesitate, if you with if you hesitate at all, you're probably gonna die. That's why, that's why in military, from what I know, yeah, you want to check your targets, but as soon as they make a sudden movement or go for something that you're not sure of, put them down. From what I know, at least, I'm not sure if that's exactly true or not. Don't quote me, but. They're not going to want to take a chance of, so put it down, you don't want to do this, and get shot. Because they, if you hesitate, they won't. The enemy will not hesitate to shoot you. I mean, smallest of the time, they won't. Uh, Someone's playing baseball. Or the metal bat go tink. Probably overgassed it now. Oh well. In three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I probably way overgassed these now. Oh well. All right. Here we go. Have some fun. Again. Alright, I am, um, after that, that, this first magazine, I, I hit almost nothing, but after I dialed that in with my eyes, I hit, I did not miss a shot with these two magazines. Holy crap, that was fun. Well, that does it for this episode. Guys, please share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys at the range.
the Xenohive. 